So begin by finding a comfortable space for yourself. You're feeling relaxed. Your breath goes in and out. With each breath, you become more aware of your connection to the earth below you. You can feel it growing stronger with each breath. And you begin to perceive that you are in a space which is not similar to the one you were just in. You are standing on a beach. You can hear the sound of the waves crashing against the shore and of seabirds flying through the sky. You stand, you feel the sand beneath your bare feet. You smell the salt in the air. And then you hear a noise behind you. Turning, you see a friend. That friend may be a person, it may be a plant, it may be a spirit, uh, an ancestor, an animal, but this is your friend. And they turn around and beckon you to follow them. You follow them on a path through the jungle pushing aside enormous leaves with your hands. Finally, you and your friend arrive at a building. You stand before the building. It could be your house. It could be a beautiful palace. It could be a vehicle. It could be a fairy house. It could be any kind of building that makes sense to you right now. That building has a door. That door is your door. Your friend beckons to the door, opens the door, and hands you a torch. You step inside the building. As your eyes adjust to the light, you look down. You see before you a carven stone table. Carved into that table are two bowls. Within one of the bowls is a kind of plant. The plant has meaning to you, but you can't quite identify what it is. You feel the flames from the torch on your cheek and see the shadows they cast on the walls, which are carved out of solid rock. Taking the torch your friend gave you, you light the herbs in the bowl on fire and they emit a familiar scent. A scent that is important to you, that you love, or a scent from your past. As soon as the smoke begins to dissipate from the fire, you hear chimes, tinkling, Turning towards the source of the chimes, you come across the entrance to the hypogeum. This is a cave, or a tunnel, or a burrow, or a hollow log. Moving towards the tunnel, you find the way blocked with cobwebs, 
that you can feel brush against you as you move forward. You push the cobwebs away and look down and you see stairs descending into the passage. Taking the stairs to the bottom, you now experience what you are meant to experience here. We'll take a moment You begin once again to hear the chimes behind you up the passage. Your experience begins to fade. You begin to slowly step backwards towards the steps. Turning around, you consider the meaning of what your experience was to you and remember what happened. You take a deep breath and still smell the scent of the burning herbs in the chamber. Walking out, you see your friend Your friend leads you back through the jungle, down to the beach. You stand on the beach, feel the sand beneath your feet, feel your connection to the earth, which exists in this world as well as ours. And slowly begin emerging back into the present moment in this room. Breathing in and out. And in and out. And now you can slowly open your eyes, come back into yourself, take a moment to take some deep breaths, try to recollect and sit with what you may or may not have experienced. <laughs>